Uh, this is Gary Butterfield. This is Cole Ross. And this is Monster of My Podcast. <laughs> and this is um, some more miscellaneous dragons. Yeah, Dragon Fest will never end, nope. motherfuckers. Oh. I hope you guys like it because we got a ways to go. Uh, <laughs> is, uh... Mercury, Mist, Shadow. There's a monster in my podcast. Yeah, guess what? We're halfway done. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Um, but I like these guys. Oh, these guys are great. Yeah, yeah. The, the, so, so these guys, the, the Mercury Dragon, um, <laughs> they're very mm-hmm. whimsical. Yes. Yeah, yeah. They're very whimsical, unpredictable. Um, but they just seem like, and they're loners. But they just seem like they're real fun. Mm-hmm. Like specifically because the book says that they're freewheeling and fun loving <laughs> and, and generally, generally irresponsible. irresponsible. <laughs> and, that, and that is, you know, like that's not everything. That's their mating behavior. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. That's that's yeah, true. They're just like, out here hey, for a romp. They're just here to have a good time. Yeah. It's mating behavior. So they yeah. get into like, uh, you know, uh, playing chicken. Yeah. You know, yeah. situations. A lot, a lot of, uh, lot, a lot of uh, like good hearted tickling. I think. Yeah. Jump the gorge. No, yeah. no. They're irresponsible. <laughs> like it is not just uh, being goofy. Oh, yeah, it's okay. like they're like, you know, uh, I'm going to put out the, the last 15 numbers of my credit card number <laughs> on the Internet. <laughs> you know, like, right. and if somebody can guess the, the little code on the back good luck to them yeah i mean and that that doesn't take too long i mean they're gonna lock you out every once in a while but you're fine that's true yeah um, <laughs> yeah but these guys are also wild cards right yes yeah. they, they they are chaotic good though they they i don't know why they exist <laughs> i don't know other than just like it's a another m- metal i mm. guess they also they're the only one so far that breathes light Yes. Which I love. Like them opening their mouth and just Whoa. like what is that old sci fi thing? <laughs> um I'm I just saw that in the world ends. I re- just rewatched oh, yeah. that. Like they do that there. Yeah, yeah I know I know it happens then, but I think it's a reference in that to an old yeah. older sci fi thing. But I don't know what what it is, where they open their mouth and like light just beams out. <laughs> um that's pretty rad. Yeah. Uh but with these guys, this is actually the first reference to anybody uh possibly eating a dragon. Mm-hmm. Which I don't know why you would do that, because specifically with these guys, even though they don't have any venom attacks, their flesh is highly poisonous. Which, yeah. again, they're just looking at the element saying, ah, fuck it. Mercury's poisonous, right? Yeah, Mercury's right? poisonous. <laughs> these guys may as well <laughs> to, be. Tick this box. I, I don't know which of the dragons so far I would want to eat the most. Mm-hmm. Um, probably I mean, based on what they eat. Maybe that grass-fed one. Oh, yeah, the green one? Dragon. Yeah. Yeah. That might be good eating. The pickled one, I think you'd keep Oh, sure. While. It's like yeah. self-pickling? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. He pickled himself like Boris Yeltsin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. The uh <clears throat> moving on to the Mist Dragon, aka Cloud Dragon 2. <laughs> yep. Oh. <laughs> Would you believe me if I said he was solitary and philosophical? But strangely enough, not one of the smarter dragons. No, I like I like a philosophical dragon that's like kinda smart. <laughs> uh which which that's a very relatable archetype. Have you considered that we our solar this system is... <laughs> might be a an atom. You you know what another word for mist is, right? <laughs> Vapor. Um, yep. Is it the vape dragon? <laughs> Please, somebody go into uh, YouTube, and that somebody is going to be me. I'm just going to type in the word vape dragon and see what comes up. Oh, I guarantee something. Oh yeah. One second here. Okay. Vape dragon. <laughs> Vaping tricks, the dragon. Oh, oh no. Yep. Hey, vapors. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> please, do, please don't address the audience as hey, vapors. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, this guy, not only does he vape, like clearly by his personality, but he turns into vape. Oh, yeah. Like you could, you could vape him. Yeah, he's like a la carte. We, yeah, well, I never even thought about that. Like, what a what a weird hook that, and I never thought about even just breathing, but let alone vaping. Uh-huh. But like the, all these monsters that could turn to mist. Like, if you wanted to vape these dudes, you could. Mm, yeah. Thanks, like, but, like if you were like if you were strawed, you'd be like, okay, get a bunch of mist dragons, get them very stoned, have them turn to mist, which I will then vape to get yeah. high. Yeah, no, we're 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 la- we're laundering it. I'm not technically smoking the weed. I'm, yeah, smoking I'm not technically something smoking, that smoking that a dragon. Weed. Yeah, no, it's a weed. it's a, it's like meat laundering. You know, like we have yeah. with the bears, except with vape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and then we get the uh, the shadow dragon, <sighs> who is is also pretty boring. Like I I like the idea of a shadow dragon. They just need to give him personality, right? Uh, which they did not. And anytime your character's hook is, I don't know, maybe it's like between two planes or something. Yeah, <laughs> that that immediately is like, 
Mm, no, I, I'm probably not going to actually like uh, consider using that, and it would be really irritating to fight. It's so weird that Planescape is so cool, but whenever planes intrude on vanilla D and D, it sucks so bad. Mm-hmm. You know, because like Planescape is about it. You know, so they can I guess the thing pay kind of proper attention to it, right. and they actually treat the things like alien things. Like, yeah. there's no reason why there couldn't just be a shadow dragon that lives in the real world. Like, tons of things can manipulate shadows. Yeah, I mean, just it's crawling around on the upside down. You know. Yeah, yeah, sundial dragon. Yeah, you know, it, it just it'd be fine. However, like once it just becomes a, 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 a you know, a, a, an emissary from this other world, yeah. it's just not alien enough for me. No, no, like it needs to be like out of place and out of time. Like the cool thing to me about Planescape is that like oftentimes when you go to one of these places, you are very much an outsider. You know? Yeah, and like anything, and, and vice versa, it's the same. This, and, like, this guy's and, gonna fucking come to my house. I'm just gonna Grand Torino in him. Brought to you by our backers at patreon.com slash duckfeedtv. 